Hello, I'm back again with three mini journals this time. I had a little set of books that were all the same size and um, decided to use their covers to make these mini journals. So even though the insides are quite different, they're all the same size, same amount of pages. They're all, they're all four by six inches with about 100 pages roughly. I think this one has slightly more pages, just over 100. Um, and um, these are about 100. So there's plenty of room to journal in them, even though they're little. Um, I wanted to use up my scrap boxes. So it's lots of scraps of material and scraps of paper and things that, ha you know, you, you sort of cut off other bits. Um, and I've tried to use them up, plus adding in bits of Tim Holtz and bits and pieces that I've been hoarding. So I'm going to break it up probably into two videos to keep it under 15 minutes because it's such a faff otherwise to put videos up if they're longer than the 15 minutes. So um, I'm going to do that. So I'll start with this one because this is actually my design team um, project for Artie Maze this month. I've used her ephemera kit for this one. So the decoration and everything in this one is just based around these fabrics, but all of the ephemera other than a couple of bits of uh, original vintage stuff of mine. It's all an Artemis kit um, and there's some really nice bits in it. So and that's what I've done with this one. So it's a very cute size. I really enjoy making them. It's such a nice size to hold. Um, and you'll see that it's like, there's lots of ripped bits in this one. And um, it's, it's basically bits of paper that have been ripped off bigger bits. I've used in other books and get chucked in a box and I've used them for these three books. So each one of them comes with a fabric cover like I've done before that um, comes off completely. So it's been slow stitch. So I slow stitch all the layers together and um, with a very basic stitch and then sew bits on top of that. I just sit in front of the telly with a, a jar of bits and buttons and beads. And so there's quite a lot of seed beads on the front of this one. And these little green beads are glass. And then these are um, Mother of Pearl uh, buttons, vintage buttons that are on here. These are all Mother of Pearl ones that are on this one. And then a wee Tim Holtz pin that says happy. And then there's beads on the end of there as well. So this is the wee book. Again, it's one of these days I'll get it flat on the top, but not in any of these ones. They've all got slightly wider this side than this side but they're all roughly just over an inch spine um, I didn't want to put a new spine in them I wanted to try and keep them like that but obviously I've ended up with a wee bit of a bigger spine on that side but hey -ho. um I think it looks okay and once you take all the ephemera out it does sit a wee bit smaller but when you once you add in charms and things but never mind um so inside both the inside and the back cover of this one has a lace pocket and some of the fabric I've used on the uh, outer cover and these are all vintage pieces and vintage doilies there's a, a few layers I think there's three doilies used in each layer there um, and uh, yeah I've based I've based all the colours around um, this green and red fabric here so this lovely doily um, Tina sent me um, and it's just it's lovely so so yeah, so we'll get started. So there's little, there's little bits, um, tickets and things in a wee pocket there in the front. Just check I'm actually in frame before I start. That's a wee bit better, isn't it? I've got a different camera set up because my kids are all home and I have to try and find a wee corner to get this done today. So this is a wee um, original vintage piece of mine from 1939, just a wee check stump, um, check book. Uh, stump from the that was left after the checks are used and that's from the kit and then we've got a wee pocket in here and I've used some Tim Holtz paper and uh, washi tape throughout this as well this is from the kit now you could cut these into four postcards but what I've done is I've left them together as two and turned them into pages so I quite like that because they're a perfect size for such a small book so I've done a wee, um, there's a wee clip on here with a little floating pocket to just an envelope again with some 
some bits from the kit in there. So that's that lovely. I love these pear soap adverts. They're so nice. So that just clips in there. And it's got some bits and pieces on the bottom. I try to use lots of different uh, textured papers through this. So there's just some really thin bits, some uh, vintage lined paper, craft paper. This is watercolour. So um, the papers all have a, a different texture to them, which I thought was quite nice. So I've got a big pocket here with some ephemera in it. And a bit pinned here. This is the ledger sheet from, I'm, um, I've got a few bits. I've got this little stash from the shop, a tattered dream Denise's shop. I just got some lovely stuff in it. But by the time you add in postage and the tax and the postal charge and all this kind of thing, um, it works out too expensive. But Denise was lovely. She put an order away to me. My mum, who was on holiday in America a couple of years ago, and it, honestly, I've been hoarding it and scared to use it. So I'm slowly beginning to use it. Um, and so the ledger pages were the perfect green to go with the, the fabric I was using and perfect size. So this is a wee bag from the shop as well that I've decoupage napkin onto. And there's some more bits from the kit. There's some lovely, uh, there's a ticket sheet that comes with these really big tickets and they're just lovely because the colours just matched what I was doing perfectly. And we've got another postcard letter type one there. I've used this map which has, um, I think it's fabric that's on the back or at least some sort of very thin muslin that's been glued to strengthen the map. And um, so I've tried to put a pocket because you couldn't really write on it but it's a lovely texture to have in the book. And uh, I've done a pocket on the map side as well and then a little fabric collage there. Another wee pocket here. This is from the kit, but that's an original. Uh, I think it's a bus ticket. East Yorkshire Motor Services. I got a wee pack of them off eBay. And they're lovely purple. And I've got the ties coming through this side this time with little glass beads coming off. And there's a wee Tim Holtz pin. This is the Tim Holtz um, die with all the bits from the kit, which I've put on cards. Um, so they sit in there perfectly. I love all these wee tiny bits. And then this is Tim Holtz from the paper. I've just cut it up into the little cards. So again, another wee pocket here. I've just um, decoupaged onto some vellum and made a wee pocket on the other side of the map. Um, some more watercolour paper. A little bit of collage there. And there's lots of, all the paper clips have some sort of dangle and I've used quite a lot of the wee green glass beads throughout. And this is a wee envelope with... Uh -oh. um, so when you get the this kit, some of the same ephemera is made bigger and smaller so you don't have to mess around with sizing yourself. So I like that. Oh, there's something else in there as well. There's a little ledger as well. Used a wee bit of piano paper. I've got a ton of this stuff and I really have to start using it. Um, at the moment I was just using little bits out of my, out of my scrap box. Um, but I will think of a way of using it, more of it, um, in a bigger journal. So there's the other side of that postcard pages that I've made into the page. I've got some lace doily there. And a wee pocket in here. Sorry if you can hear the wind out the front of my house, but if I waited for it to die down, I would never get this video done. I live in the far north of Scotland. I mean, it's windy. It's just, it just is. There's not a lot I can do about it. <laughs> um, so again, that's more of the envelopes that I've kept in two pieces to make them into pages. I've got a big pocket here. And that's a wee bit of... Um, my original vintage stuff, 1920. So we've got some Tim Holtz paper here. Some tickets into a pocket. I love this ripped um, 
shabby soul. I was watching one of her videos and she'd she'd done some pages where she'd left it ripped like this and I loved it. So I stole that idea. Um, more of the ledger paper. This is one of the um, background pages from uh, an Art and Maze kit. And what I did is I made it smaller and printed it on newsprint paper. So it's just somewhere to journal, but it, it, again, it's just a nice different texture to have in the book. And one of the checks. So we've got a wee pocket here, I like this little guy in the corner. And two little ones there. And a wee Tim Holtz pin, which again, I'm finally using. And again, I've printed some of the envelopes onto the newsprint paper. I just love the effect of it. So there's lots of room to journal, like I said, even though it's a small book. We've got a big journaling card there, and then there's a little one here in the front. and then the other side of that envelope. And then there's some um, Tim Holtz tape I've used as well. And then we've got a wee collage at the top there. So this is one of the those lovely little glassine envelopes from uh, A Tatter Dream. Now these are the, this is again from the big sheet that is all tickets and they're really big the tickets but I love the colours of them and the colours again tied in really well with this book. My lace pocket there. And then another wee I'll be checking it. Oh, it's got a little card in it as well. Such an awkward angle. Try not to knock the camera. And then we've got another one at the back there. And that's a piece of original ledger from a little bank book I have. And then we've got some of the little bits here as well. So there we go. So that's the first little book done. And I'll be back in a minute, hopefully, with the video too. Thank you very much for watching.